Do you really believe for one minute that uh, DeAndre Jordan's coming to the Knicks? Uh, he's staying with the Clippers or going to the Mavs at worst. If he comes here, I'll keel over. I just, I wish, I've always said on this show for the last year, the entire season, Mafia, did I not clamor for them to get uh, DeAndre Jordan? But he's a shot blocker and a rebounder and a dunker. He can't, he literally can't hit a jump shot outside the paint if they paid him. Uh, and they're going to pay him, whoever gives him the max deal. He can't shoot, and he can't shoot free throws. He really is, at the end of the day, a horrible basketball player. He, he, he can dunk, and that's it. That's his whole game, is alley-oop dunks. Have you ever seen this guy hit a jump shot once in your life? He couldn't hit an eight-footer if the ocean was the basket, and he was shooting from the beach. Seriously. Uh, that's a fact. I can't even believe they're going to give him max money because he can dunk. So what? I think he's exciting with the alley-oops, playing with Griffin and all this and, and CB3. But, like, when that guy's at the free throw line, he's cancer. I mean, he is absolutely the worst. He's a game loser. He'll lose a game for you. They, they proved it in the playoffs. They must have fouled him a thousand times in the playoffs because uh, everybody's strategy was put him on the line. They were fouling him when he didn't even have the ball. I am not suggesting that he's not a good player and that he plays hard or that he's decent. I think he's definitely uh, a problem for teams to handle uh, inside. And um, that's because of his size. I mean, he's athletic and he's big. He's tall. He's long. Uh, he can dunk and finish and rebound and swat shots. So, I don't deny that he's good at that. So, it's just how good it is. Raymond Green just got $85 million. He is a great defender. Are you telling me that Jordan's better than Draymond Green, what he gives you on both ends of the floor, than what this guy can't shoot a jump shot?